Let's check out how to make this non-destructive and fully editable text effect here in Illustrator. Let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want, scale it up. By the way, I went with the Sweet Display Black. It's an Adobe font. I got to leave a link in the description so you can install it. And from here, we're going to go to the appearance here. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select the appearance. Click on the character and I'm going to add a fill. And this is going to apply a fill and a stroke. Click on the fill, select a color. And then we're going to go to the stroke. I'm going to add a black, increase the stroke thickness. And now we're going to create a pattern, select the line tool. And I'm going to click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke. Make sure that it's going to be on two as the stroke here in the appearance. Press and hold shift, create a line like this. Let's go to object, pattern, make. And we're going to increase the height. I'm going to go with five. Let's click on done. Let's select the text and we're going to need to add another fill. So I'm going to select this fill and we're going to need to add above another fill on this fill and we're going to change it with the pattern that we created. It's going to appear here in the swatches, the new pattern. So now we got a fill color, we got a pattern and we got a stroke. And now we're going to need to apply another fill, which is going to be on the top. So click on the stroke and we're going to put this above and I'm going to click on the fill again. And I'm going to change the fill to black and let's select the fill. Let's go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. And from here, we're going to go to the horizontal and vertical and we're going to push this out. I'm going to go with minus seven vertical minus seven again, but I'm going to go with minus six. Click OK. Now we're going to need to add two more strokes. So I'm going to go here to the fill. I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to change it to back to the original color. There you go. And what I'm going to do here is go back to fill, select the transform, press and hold alt and drag it on the stroke right there. We got the stroke on the fill and we're going to need to add another stroke above the stroke, which is basically going to be the highlight with white color. So I'm going to click on the fill and add another stroke and I'm going to change it to white. Great. I might push it to three instead of two and I'm going to need the transform, select the transform from the stroke, press and hold alt, copy it on the stroke, on the white stroke. So we're going to need to adjust the white stroke because as you can see, it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to go to the transform at the white stroke and probably I'm going to need to bring it back a little minus five and this is going to be minus four. Click OK. And there you go. This is how you get this non-destructive type effect here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.